And with DynastyBreaks.com, if you're watching this video, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate the channel love. We've been getting a lot of views lately because you guys are hitting thumbs up. We've got a five-star mixer, or a luminaries mixer, if you want to call it that. This is break number five that we've done this way. Five-star luminaries and archives hobby, that's 2023. Then we got 24 series one hobby, 21 archives, 22 Bowman hobby. Interesting box there. Looking for that Ellie De La Cruz first Bowman. Uh, Thomas with the Reds. Speaking of Ellie, Raymond, Rangers. Walter with the Blue Jays. Aaron at the bar, Cubs. Chris Caffeinated with the Braves. Timmy, Rockies. Uh, Kyle with the Astros. Paul d John Pirates. Will with the Royals. John Brewers. Will Orioles. Donald Giants. Paul with the A's. Kentuck Phillies. Christopher, thou hath the White Sox. John, Yankees. Chad, Mariners. Tyler, hopping on the Guardians. Jeremy Marlins, John Cardinals, Ken Talk with the Twins, Douglas Padres, Jeremy Red Sox, John Rays, Roy in his cage with the Nationals, Melissa, blah, cheer up. You got the Angels and Chad with the Tigers. Rob had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as the Mets and the Dodgers. All card ship in this break. No hitless credit, and if we get a points card, it's random to all. Are you in the great state of Texas, Westy? It's a good place to be, man kind of windy here in the great state of Texas today, but it isn't. It feels nice outside. I had to turn on my air conditioner for the first time yesterday. Popsicles. What are she talking about? Oh, phone holder. I have a phone stand. I have a phone stand on there. Did you guys see that? There's our silver pack. I do have a cell phone stand or uh, it goes on a desk or whatever. Can actually use it for an iPad too. Oh, I bet I can design one of those. I bet I bet they've got one of those. I'll look I'll look for that. Just because you don't like onions. Can you email me that, Jen? I'm gonna forget. After a long night of breaking, I'll forget. Dynasty Breaks LLC at gmail.com. Uh that is Evan Carter. That is a nice rookie card in the silver pack. A little bit harder to get than the base a rookie. Faux show. I need my uh, I need my block. I need my block. That's the bottom. Yeah, if you email me, I won't forget. Not that not that you need to email me. I'm just telling you I'll forget if you don't. I'm just being honest with you. I want to be honest with you. What up, crazy? What's going on, man? What is up over in West Virginia? We do have to check the back of all these cards, guys. Looking for one of ones They forgot to stamp the front on the first card parallel. So we're going to be looking on the back of the cards. Crazy coming in hot. You know, I think I did see one of those phone things at one point. I did see one of those. Dynasty Breaks Banana Bread. No, well, that's unavailable to us. We'll never have that, Carl. Yeah, there was a, there was like a, somebody talking about it. But then we found out it'll never happen. You know, they kind of pulled the rug out. Some big old jerk pulled the rug out. I don't remember who it was. All right, let's, uh, oh, let me go through the backs first. That's what I generally do. I'm looking on the bottom right corner to see if we see a one of one stamp. Very difficult to get, guys. Uh, very unlikely that we'll see one, but we gotta check. I would still check through your base cards anyway, in case I'm blind or something. Always good if you're, in case your breaker is, you know, just having one of those days. Check through the base here. We'll do the base heavy products first. And I'm going through the base cards really quickly, folks, uh, just for time purposes. You will get every one of these cards. We sort them all. Uh, Rafi Devers home run challenge. Got a scratch-off game on the back of that. You can guess when he's going to hit a home run. 
If you're correct, they send you a serial numbered card. I told you, uh, Carly, you should get into uh, mass producing the pickles, making some money. Maybe have a seamstress business on the. I'm trying to make you an entrepreneur. Preneur. Entrepreneur. Carly? It's hard to say. Hey, what up, Aaron? I bet Aaron gets something. He always does. How about that Kevin Hart autograph Monday night? That was exciting. Kevin Hart auto out of uh, Allen and Ginner. By the way, I've got five different years of Gypsy Queen Monday night. We've done that break once before. It's got Otani rookie cards, and Otani signed autographs in 18 GQ. That That is a product I think I feel like is a little uh, underappreciated maybe. Otani with rookie autos in that. Oh, yeah, we have another channel, Crazy, where we read all the stats on every card. We go through every card and read their uh, lifetime stats. Uh, we have some some person named Bob that does that for us. He's very run down, though. He, he always looks sad. Tons of pickles. Hey, you know what? We still have, like, three pickles left at, at home, and I ate, like, two, two, like, slices, three slices left. I ate two of them yesterday. Uh... Mets with the golden image variation. And if you wonder, do they make an image variation for every card? Or is it only the single player cards? The team cards have one too. Gold back here, very tough to get. Congratulations, Mets. We don't count that as a hit. Not considered a hit, but it's very tough. Is that Alonzo and is that Lindor? I don't know who that is. Man. Man. There you go. Golden image variation. All right, this is serial numbered. We will randomize for this. Uh, I'm going to do this right after this box before we move on to the next box. Uh, this is serial numbered to 2024. It's Otani, Adolis, The Beast, and Lubob. That's a nice card. We do have to randomize for it since it's serial numbered. Car decals. I bet we've got some car de decals we can do on there. That wouldn't take me very long to to get that set up. Takes longer to put on our website than it does for me to design that. All right, patch card, Max Muncy. Technically the first hit of the break. There you go, Dodges. Los Angeles. Los Angeles Dodges on the hit. Over there. I think I already looked through the back of these. I want to double check. It would be a long break. Uh, Ellie, do you want to top load that? 89 tops. Shorburn, I'm looking for the Kevin Hart cards on the Phillies stuff. Phillies, definitely check your cards. Uh, Lou Bob, rainbow foil. It's a nice picture. Skeeter's guy, Lou Bob. It is the most Muncie you can have, crazy. Max Muncie. This is a little bit more rare than his base rookie, I would assume. Nice, Ellie. All right, checking for 101s. Make sure I fan out these cards. Set those over there. My camera's centered up, Phillies. Finally getting some golden image variations. Golden mirror, excuse me. What a great name for an insert set, too. Mirror variations. Pretty impressed that they did uh, the entire set has a mirror variation. I don't, I would assume the triple player cards do also. I don't know how they would look different, though. The insert for the Mets. Yeah, it is the most months you can have, though. All right, this is Marlins Rainbow Foil, Miami. It's a pretty good uh, Series 1 hobby box. Not bad. Well, let's go ahead and do the random for this. So I don't have any open packs on the table right now. It's a good time to do it. Uh, Angels, Rangers, White Sox on the numbered card. Let me, let me take you over to random.org and let me go get a uh, note to put on this card. I don't, I'm unprepared. I don't have my, uh, I don't have my note. Where's my note? I don't have my note. 
I didn't think I was going to need a note in this break. You never know what you're going to need, kids. You just never know. All right, let's uh, let's do this thing. Seven times is what we do on Wednesdays. It's going to be the LA Angels. It's going to be Chicago White Sox. And it is going to be the Texas Rangers. I'll put some dashes so we can see those move around. Team on top after seven gets the number card. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven times, White Sox take it. Chicago, again, not a hit, but it is a nice numbered card. I'm going to call that White Sox. Yeah. There you go. Chicago. It is done. All right, I love this set. 2021 Archives. I love it. 70th anniversary of Tops. If you want a, I always say this, if you want a personal box, if you got kids, you want to teach them about the hobby, so many designs from the past in this stuff. They will get two autos. They will be on card autos. They get a poster. This is a really good product. All right. Uh, this is going to be the Rockies, Bichette, Galarraga, and Larry Walker. All in the My Guy category. I like those guys. You go Colorado. I will put that poster in a uh, top loader for you. Send it your way. Oh, was that you, Chris? White Sox? Yeah. That, hey, that's a cool card, man. Those are three players I like. Those are three players I like. Let me move these over here. Dual Auto Favre Rogers is a big card. Big card crazy. I've tried to find Favre Rogers stuff um, for vaults before. I think I've done it once. I think I had a five-star auto from back in the day. But yeah, Favre Rogers is legit. I've also looked for... Uh, Bart Starr, Favre, and Rogers triple auto. That's real tough to find. I like doing the uh, legends from the same franchise. I like I like putting that kind of stuff in our buybacks. You usually don't get much of a discount on cards like that, though. Uh, we kind of talked about dinner before you showed up, Carly. What are you having for dinner? What is anyone that came in late having this evening? We know that that my aunt is having a onion filled and onion covered meatloaf. Uh, getting a little sick. Uh, Elroy's having wings. Uh, they may crazy, I don't know. That's kind of their personal life stuff. I don't really know about that. that they're in some product where all three Packers quarterbacks signed. I don't remember what it is, but probably one of those cards you're just, you're not getting a discount on a card like that. I try to buy stuff inexpensively if I can, or try to get a good deal on it. Every hundred bucks I save on a card, it gives me a hundred dollars to buy a different one or to add to another one to put in the vault. Steak and cheese, sub. There you go. Nothing wrong with that, crazy. Nothing wrong with that. Burgers and fries, and I picked up my corned beef for Sunday. What does that mean? You picked it up off the floor? I mean, what do you? I didn't. I don't. What is this corned beef you're speaking of? What is this for? What's happening? Is there a corned beef event in Wisconsin? All right, love these. Uh, love these cards. Kind of a vintage feel to them. I don't like the floating heads, especially when they have pigtails. That's creepy. Uh, Alec Bohm's floating cranium. Oh God, Lindor. Tell me in the comments what you think of the floating head cards. Oh, this is the, okay, this is weird. We're going to see, we're going to see if we only get one auto. I hope we still get two. Notice the card says Tops Certified Autograph Issue, and the card is not autographed. So I feel like this was supposed to be signed. Whoever got this, uh, you can contact Tops. Let them know you got it in a break. Email them the receipt that we sent you and say, hey, this card is supposed to be autographed, or at least that's what it says. They will tell you, no, it's not supposed to be, or they'll say, yes, that's a mistake. Uh, we're going to send you something. I, I don't know. I don't know what they'll say, but we had a Mariano Rivera like this as well. Not going to count this as a hit. It's not an auto. Technically, it's not autographed, so... 
But Mets, uh, who has the Mets? Rob. Yeah, you don't even have to mark that one, Skeeter. I, I wouldn't even mark it. Um, Rob, I would send that. I would contact Tops on that. Get a screenshot. You can pause your video and take a screenshot. Kind of a weird... We may still get two autos in this box, which would tell me they don't consider that one. Now, if we only get one auto, then yeah, I would say that's supposed to supposed to be an autograph. Oh, it's a weekend. Oh, I forgot St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday. I always forget when St. Patrick's Day is. Are you supposed to eat corned beef? Is that what you're supposed to do? All right, we've got Ahmed Rosario for the Guardians, if you will. Still called the Indians on here. That's a uh, orange shimmer is what I'm going to call that. Orange diamond, uh, mini diamond, 7 of 15. Yo, Guardians. Yeah, I remember when we got the Mariano. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if they ended up giving the person a Mariano Rivera auto. Oh, Randy Johnson. And uh, that is how you sign a card. It's Benny... Ogbayani, Kazum type. That is a 91 tops design throwback. Great on card auto. It's going to go to the Mets. Well, that might make up for your uh, Pete Alonso. There you go, Rob. New York Mets. So hopefully we get another autograph. I'd still contact tops anyway. Yeah, I saw that, Dan. I saw that. Whoever gets the 101. Uh, Bedard. Oh, there's an... Okay, so maybe the Alonzo was not supposed to be an auto. I'd still contact him. We got our two autographs anyway. Uh, D.V. Garcia. If we don't get a D.V. Garcia auto in every break, I actually have an emergency line I call to let, let them know. It's like the red phone. It's like the bat phone back in the day. Uh, warning, we did not get a D.V. Garcia auto for the Yankees. I just want to let you guys know. But luckily, we got one. We don't have to use the emergency... Uh, you know, calling system there. Uh, so both New York teams getting an auto. Uh, the family for the Pirates. Go through the rest of the base pretty quick here. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I know. People are buying hockey, Dan, that don't normally buy hockey, which that's good, right? People are going to get into collecting hockey maybe that never did before. When did you start collecting? You're going to ask all these people. They're going to say, oh, that Series 2 where they did the bounty, that got me into it. I think it's perfect. Great marketing idea. I think these huge bounties are awesome. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Say what you want about does it devalue the other cards in the set. I don't know. Freddie Freeman. Uh, the hockey is all going to get opened eventually anyway. So I think it's good that, hey, people are opening it right now. 136 and 150. Gonna go to the Braves. Foil. Hey, what up, Cornbread? What's for dinner? What's for dinner, Cornbread? Maybe it's corn. Maybe they are having cornbread. Or maybe they'll never have cornbread again because we talk about it so much. Floating head. Get out of here. If you don't want to keep your floating head cards, I totally understand. I love this card. I wish they did that in like a quad autograph. How cool would that be? Jay Buhner, Edgar, Griffey, and uh, Randy Johnson. Such a cool card. It matches the uh, posters. You get a case each year. What if this is your year, though? What if your case has it, man? You'll never know. I understand, though. That's pretty expensive. Almost wish you could have had like a uh, pre-order five years in advance. Do they just send you your case every year? You never know. Could be the one. I saw there a red, a red uh, Bedard to twenty-five is up for auction right now. It's pretty high, I think. So, Dan, you're a hockey guy. How hard is it to just get a one-of-one one parallel? I would assume there's one for every card in the set. How hard is it to just get get anybody, just get one of them? Is it one in 10 cases, one in 20, one in 50? I don't, I think there would be an announcement if it's been pulled, Dan. I really do. 
Unless someone pulled it that has no clue what's going on and they just took it home and put it in a top loader. That's really sad if that happened, by the way. I don't think it's been found. You've never seen a 101? You've never pulled one in any of your cases from the past years? No, this will be on the same stream, uh, Glop. Yeah, we'll have illusions up next. All right, so we have all of our breaks on one big live stream, but I also post the video for each individual break. Like, I'm recording right now. Even though we're live, I will post a actual video so people don't have to sit there and scroll through the live stream trying to find their break. So we do both. We do both. But you found, you found us. You're in the right place. Thanks for joining us, by the way. What's your name? How did you find us? How did you hear about Dynasty? Shortest you've seen is out of 15. Yeah, it's a tough card, man. Yeah, we do that, uh, Glop, just in case somebody can't be here live. They want to watch it, watch the break the next day, or when they get home from work, they can just watch it on demand. Random for the glasses. Yeah, we don't do, we don't send the glasses. It's a lot of hassle for not a lot of benefit. JD, I would recommend you guys want to, you could pick up probably a pair of 3D glasses for about a quarter online. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't ship glasses. All right, we ship all cards, but we don't we don't ship uh, 3D glasses. All right, Dominic Fletcher, Babe Ruth as a Boston Red Sox. I love this card. Love that card. Very cool. All right, on card auto. It's Ken Waldachuk. What a nice uh, it's kind of a nice name for a pitcher. Anything Chuck. Uh, there you go, Oakland. Oakland A's with a hit. That is Paul. Look at you, Paul. Prospery. Old uh, tops design there. Oh, they haven't done one of one before. Are you sure, Dan? That seems like something everybody's doing. That would be that's strange to me that they've never done that. Um, Ramon Loriano for the A's. That's a mini diamond aqua. Aqua mini diamond to seventy five. Very nice. All right, three D card. So are you going to buy his single, Dan? Are you, are, are you just out? You're not even buying any boxes? I feel like you got to at least buy a couple boxes, maybe. If, as long, if you do it every year. If you buy it every year. That is weird that they didn't have a one-on-one, if that's true. All right. Mark Vientos, the fresh maker. Isn't that the, uh, the Mentos thing? Uh, Mets again. Mets are on fire. Rob. Two autos, and you've got a third card that says autograph issue that maybe Tops will take care of you on. Uh, Mets are doing very well. Rob and his uh, little lamb. Also getting the double team spot in this baby boomer auto. It is a rookie. You had Burger King, unfortunately. Yeah, that's pretty rough, Dave. That's pretty rough. Burger King. You couldn't have gone to a better burger place than that? Nothing against Burger King. I mean, I'm sure it's excellent. But it's pretty rough. Now, you didn't buy Burger King for Crystal, and then you're going to go out for, like, steaks later, did you? Uh, Tony Gwynn, Number Cruncher. A little bit of a edge issue on that card. Number Cruncher Gwynn, my guy. Padres. My guy, Ty Cobb, the goat. Oh, you're just a mem guy now. Okay. Fair enough. Jackie Robinson, red, not numbered. 
I think all those are red frames. All right, Otani. Make sure this is not numbered. How about that Otani metal card the other night? Oh, Joey Votto. That is, I'm going to call that a rainbow foil. Seems right. Rainbow foil. It's numbered to 199 for the Reds. Last second move to go to Burger King. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm thinking fasting, you know, intermittent fasting or Burger King. I might go intermittent fasting. I don't know. I might. That might that might push me to it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do this. This is a big box, man. Actually, it's a normal size box, but emotionally, it's big. Um, that's what she said. 2022 Bowman Hobby. Let's get an Ellie auto. Why not? Why can't it be us? I'm not even gonna lie to you, uh, Dan. I thought about maybe I should buy a couple boxes. When I'm thinking about buying hockey boxes, that's a good marketing uh, plan. The million dollar bounty is just a good marketing plan. It just is. It's just excellent. When you got Dane thinking of buying a hockey box, you're doing something right. That uh, Stroud helmet is sweet. What are y'all gonna do with it? You gonna sell it? You're not an Ohio State guy, are you? I bet you somebody will pick that up off you or trade it for something. Yeah, lean pockets were, were awesome. If they hey, if, if they come back with lean pockets, they will they will be in my freezer, I assure you. Dave makes his own lean pockets, Timmy. Have you ever seen them? They look like uh, the aliens. They look like aliens. You remember when the alien jumped out of the guy's stomach? That's what they look like. It looks like there's an alien inside. It's like stitched around the edge. There's a picture of Dave's uh, hot pocket in the trading post. If you want to go look at it. Hit the thumbs up button. Help me out. I'm a lowly breaker breaking all by myself today. All I ask for is your likes. Your thumbs up. Even if you're watching us on your big screen TV. Hit that thumbs up button. Oh, you're a you're a Michigan guy. Yeah, that thing's gonna be gone soon. You can't have that. You can't have that, Eric. That's not gonna work. You can't have an Ohio State autograph mini helmet of C.J. Stroud in your house. Now, if you traded it and some cash for a C.J. Stroud Texans autograph mini helmet. Then you're off the hook. You're probably good then. If you do like CJ Stroud. The Franken pocket. That's what it looks like. I don't know how Dave made it look like that. It was kind of scary. It looked like it probably tastes good after the alien moved out, but I don't know. Yeah, it is kind of a base release. I would consider it like a Series 1 baseball, Series 2 baseball type thing. Young Guns are pretty popular, though. Just regular Young Guns cards. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to buy a box, but I thought about it. I seriously thought about it. All right. And we don't, you know, I don't get hockey at retail, so that would just be me buying it just like anybody would buy it, just full price. Thought about it. How cool would that be to pull that thing? The funny thing is, what would that card sell for? They may the bounty. They're not. They're probably not going to lose money on the bounty. Maybe it would sell for what? I mean, would it sell for seven fifty? And then the quarter million they're out. They probably sold the quarter million extra and profit on the uh, selling a bunch of product. So. That might be a break-even scenario for, for everybody. Franco rookie. I don't think I passed an Ellie. I am checking for Ellie's. 
I want to go through the paper again because I feel like I wasn't like I was talking about hockey. I don't want to miss an Ellie. Did pass a Khalil Watson. No, no Ellie. I know. That's a good thing though, JD. Yeah, you weren't opening when I was a kid, you weren't opening like 91 Fleer. I wasn't opening that anyway because it's ugly, but you weren't opening 91 upper deck thinking you're going to get a million bucks. I mean, how cool is that? How far have we come where that's that could actually happen? I think it's awesome. All right. Vargas a roll of Vera. Brother of Aloe Vera. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see who ends up with that card. Hey, I bet you could trade that for a Texans helmet, probably. Especially to an Ohio State guy. Probably a memorabilia group on Facebook that would, you could say, hey, here's what I'm looking for and here's what I got. I bet somebody might do that straight up if they're a big Ohio State guy. All right, Adley Rutschman cracked ice. I don't believe these are numbered. Still a nice card. You go Baltimore. It'll be a uh, kind of a pre-rookie, but after his first Bowman. Sort of that middle of the road. Nope, oh, is that a refractor? It is to four ninety nine. Uh, Verdugo, Luis Verdugo. Brother of Alex, maybe I don't know. Could be. Probably not. It's number to four ninety nine for the Cubs. We'll do our high end stuff after this. Just three cards in these next two boxes. Three cards total. But they're big ones. J Rod. Otani. This is a fun mixer. I'll try to keep doing some five-star mixers for you guys. Uh, this is Jay Allen, Purple Ray Wave. Not his first Bowman. Still a nice card going to the Reds. Should get one auto in this box. Should get one autograph. All right, Invicta, James Wood, George's guy. Top load that. Just a second. Top load that one. A little bit thicker card here. Yeah, I'm not a big hockey fan myself. That was just going to totally be for fun, and who knows? A little excitement to it. What are those boxes going for? About three, four hundred? And what are they normally going for? Oh, you got an A-Rich? You mean A-Rich? Not Richie Rich. Not R-Rich. You got an A-Rich uh, RPA out of Spectra. Man, we're doing Spectra tonight. I'm about out of that product, guys. I think I'm going to only have one more Spectra break after tonight. Now, I will have some with Illusions as well. Oh, nice one here. Boom. There you go, Guardians. George Valera. Now, I don't know how he's been progressing. This was a very big... Uh, First Bowman when this product came out. George Valera, Cleveland. Congrats. That is what you're looking for, Tyler. First Bowman base auto, and it's a nice signature, too. Very nice signature. That'll work. Normal's 110, 120. It's going for 350. That's okay. Uh, to 299, Francisco Alvarez, magenta paper. Mets. Nice Valera. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up with him. I don't keep up with a lot of the prospects. Pretty nice, though. There's an Ellie uh, Chrome. Don't always get one of these, for sure. Uh, there you go, Reds. Ellie first Bowman. Chrome card. 
Hey, Spectra is like a perfect breaking product. And I think when you put Spectra and Illusions together, it works really well. Five hits per box and eight hits per box. We're doing that uh, tomorrow. That'll kind of be our grand finale, and then we'll be on a three-day weekend. Take a little time off. We'll be on our normal schedule then till probably Easter weekend. I think we'll be taking some time off around Easter. No surprise there. Go hunt for eggs or something. All right. Here we go. The grand finale. Five star. Good luck. I did not watch the fights. I did not. I haven't gotten into that. I haven't gotten into watching fights. Oh, this is... Seems like thicker than normal. These cards are usually thick. This thing is like bursting at the seams. This is thicker than normal. Oh, it's because there's three cards instead of two. That'll work. They usually hit you up with this maybe once in every case. Let's see what three cards we got. Got an extra hit here. Michael Toglia for the Rockies. Timmy with the rookie auto. I like the gold foil on these. I normally hate foil on the corners and on the edges, but... This stuff holds up really well. I don't know if you want to call that engraved foil or etched. Always looks better. Yeah, you got to get rid of that too, Eric. You can't be caught with that. All right, Leover Paguero, rookie. I think we're going all rookies in this box. This is going to go to the Pittsburgh Pirates. They go Pirates and John. John with the hit. And Gabe Moreno, bam. Blue to 25, rookie auto, Arizona Diamondback. Showing up a little late to the party, but showing up nonetheless. There you go, Paul. Low numbered, man. Hard to get the blue parallel. All right, three hits instead of two. Hey, let's get two hits instead of one in this. I don't think that's possible, actually, but... I don't know. Maybe they'd sit a redemption on top of the uh, magnetic card or whatever. It's not a magnetic card. It's a card in a magnetic. Luminaries. I should have got the five star box. I need a uh, so I need a good screenshot. Where's my five star box? I don't know where it is. There it is. Five star box. I sh I assure you, it's a clean trash can. That's the screenshot. That'll that'll get the views. That's the screenshot. Sell them together. Maybe. I think you probably get more breaking it up, but maybe not. Usually when you sell stuff together, you got to give people a discount. Just my thoughts, personally. If I'm buying more stuff, I want cheaper. All right, we've got New York Mets. Why not? New York Mets on fire. Third auto for Rob. Jeez Louise. Uh, that is a Brett Beatty. That is a rookie. Uh, it's going to be a pretty desirable card there. Home Run Kings Auto. Uh, fifth home run. Oh, fifth ever to home run in his first major league at bat. That's awesome. That's actually more guys than I thought would have uh, accomplished that. All right. That was it for the baseball mixer. We've got a few minutes. going to take about a 10-minute break. Uh, I'm going to post this video to YouTube. I'm going to put these cards away, get them ready for shipping. And up next, brand new illusions. Haven't looked at this yet. Just came out today. See you in a minute. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button.